Hello, hello. How y'all doing? This is me in the toy chest. So, uh, you know, it's my basement setup. It's messy, but, uh, you know, I got some of my Lego sets set up and I built these four by eight tables. Boom, pretty fun. I need to fix up all these guys because, uh, you know, I got kind of messed up in the moving process. And I got a second table I built not that long ago. And, uh, you know, I got a few sets going on there. But today, what I want to play with, something a little bit different and not exactly Lego, okay? Let me show you what I got. It's kind of cool. I've always wanted one of these as a kid and I never got one. Can you guess what it is? These are kind of old school and uh, the new kiddies probably don't even know these because these were cool when I was a kid, but not really so much these days. And it is, woo, it's a slot car. But the cool thing about it is, as you can see, it's like a Lego slot car that you can build and wreck when you drive. I've had this thing for years. This is the Scale, uh, Scale Electric, Extric. I don't even know how to say that. Scale Electric. And it's the uh, Quick Build Cops and Robbers set. So I'm gonna be putting this thing together and having some fun. And this is, of course, where I film for my spook shack as well. I've got, you know, uh, way too many Halloween things, including lots and lots of masks and stuff. So yeah, there's a, this basement is just filled with fun. It's uh, fun 24-7. I got Halloween down here 24-7 and Legos down here 24-7. I got cool Lego stuff that not everybody has probably, like a salt and pepper shaker. Was kind of cool. I got another Lego salt and pepper shaker. Officially licensed. This is all officially licensed stuff. This isn't like knockoff stuff. Um, and then there's a Lego water bottle. It uh, just comes off like so, and boom, you got a little water bottle. Pretty cool. And some of the stuff, I don't even know if they sell anymore or not. Um, you have to look for it. One of the things they had too, which is kind of a unique thing, is this guy right here. A minifig that is completely made out of wood. Pretty neat. And I think the idea is you're supposed to paint it. it. The only thing that really moves is his hands. That's it. They just spin. Nothing else moves on him. He's pretty static. But I like him because, like, I don't know, I'm a sucker for anything Lego. Uh, you know, I got a lot of non-Lego stuff, but I love it. Like the party wagon, of course. I have never opened this because uh, my old house I didn't have enough room but I bought it because I was like I need to get this and keep it until I do have room because I may not find it again. I don't know if you can still find this set or not. So look at that, there's a little crossover track. Instruction manual, looks like some decals or decals. A red and blue chassis. Back to the car. Got some track thingies. These either. I mean, like I said, this is the first time I ever had a slot track. Some more track. Um, this looks like how it's powered right here. It's got like a little power bank and everything and starting line. There's a power pack. This is straight away. Red car and a little minifig. More curly things. More angled pieces, which I don't know what those are for either. These are the uh, controllers that give these little triggers though to drive them. The trick to the whole point I think of like RC cars is trying to go as fast as you can but when keeping it on the track and then some tracks have like a crossover where you could crash into them um, or you could switch lanes. It's really basic racing like slot track racing but like you know in the 80s and 90s when there wasn't like cool stuff like there is today this was like this was the bee's knees and so, honestly, I don't know why they don't come back, because they're pretty cool still, I think. I mean, so you can still get it. People are still into it, but not like they were back in the day. All right, I don't know which color goes first. That's stuck in there. Okay, well, there's that. And my blue car. You can see on the bottom of the car, it has a slot. And sock, slot car, I guess. And then you got two pieces of metal, and that's uh, probably positive and negative, which generates power to the, the motor, which appears to be in the back of these cars. 
So cool. This is the bad guy. Because uh, I mean, look at him. He's like got a little mask on there, but his head's kind of big and funny. But he's like a minifig. He's posable, so that's pretty cool. I mean, you could change him out with a Lego minifig, which I will. Typically, say these wheels go here. They sit over top the uh, the slot. I think that's just for weight distribution reasons. And the wheels are rubber, so like when they're racing and stuff, they actually slide and stuff. It's cool. like a nose piece that goes over it like this. It just kind of fits together like that. Pretty simple, right? So far I got a little bit of a nose from that little section I'm guessing, like that. Oh, this is, this is pretty simple so far, I'm digging it. Yeah, that goes on like that. It's pretty easy because you got the body line here that you're following. Whoop. Just goes on whoop, like that. Real easy. And here's the rear spoiler. Does that just sit? Oh, right there. Lift his arms up a little bit. Okay. I'll slide that around him. The police man looks a lot like Robocop. Check him out. Kind of funny looking. Oh, and then the windshield. Let me get the windshield in first. Either I'm missing something or this is just kind of rough, but at least I got him in the car. He is just staring off into the sky and not paying attention where he's driving, but. There's the cop car. Kind of cool looking. It just connects kind of like Lego again. Does this just slide and pop in place? And it looks like it does. Just like that. So the C goes here. So these pieces, um, I kind of like them. They feel durable to me. They're a little bit uh, flexible. I don't want to call them rubbery, but they're not like brittle plastic. They're super bendable, kind of rubbery plastic. You know, I said I wasn't going to say that. Get this guy out of the way. The other thing I was kind of thinking of two and two is like, I got a lot of Lego train track. So I got... I don't know, I got really big into like Technics and Lego um, motorized stuff with Technics. And uh, I was figuring like, this is like something you can kind of blend in, even though it's not licensed by Lego, but it's kind of cool to have like, I don't know, something like that to play with. And it's definitely a lot funner than a slow train. Um, and you could build a city around it, right? So, I don't know. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's so big, it takes up my entire cityscape, but uh, we could always build another table. I might. I don't know. Um, so I haven't figured out my city scheme yet. I just got a bunch of buildings, like you saw, the trains. Sits in there like that, right? Number two was blue. Okay. All right, drum roll. I haven't actually played with this. Red light's on on the thing. Let's try it out. Here we go. Ooh. I just pulled it real soft. Way faster. I'm only like at half, uh, half trigger there. 
Let's try full throttle right off the line and see what it does. Oh, <laughs> oh, it doesn't stick to the track. See that? It broke right out. Oh, he started sliding on the turns. His tail whips out. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, you hear that? It makes sound. So listen to the sound on this. Plus you can see the little uh, lights um, flashing too. Okay, so the blue's going good. Let's get the red going too. Oh, they bumped into each other. I was going really slow. No harm, no foul. Sometimes it gets stuck in the intersection, so like um, you want momentum to get through that. Don't stop in the intersection. Took him out. Oh. Ah, boom. Oh, Cap wins again. Creams and blows his hood off. That is, that's just fun. So they're sliding off the track. It's got little tabs right here. I might have a low spot on the table. I mean, that's why I've got a hard time with it. Sort of optional, but if you really want to floor it and get them tires skidding off the track and having a great time, you want to, you want to use these things. It's like a real chase, we're doing the same way. It's all about which car handles better. Oh! Oh! Boom! Cop car lost that time, lost his hood. I'm cracking away on these stickers, but I gotta tell you right now, one of the dumbest stickers here is this one on the red car. And uh, this is how you want to pull some of these off, because look at this. This thing, I'm um, getting focus, is clearly two lanes that are separated at the bottom. And uh, this whole thing is itty bitty and it is extremely easy to rip. You're almost guaranteed to always rip them. So when I do these stickers, I like to use an X-Acto knife and then kind of place it and then press it down. I can't do this filming, so I'm gonna just put you down. All right, the decals are a pain. That's what makes this kit almost uh, too hard. Oh, this is new for 2014. So that's how old this set is. But, um, so they don't give you a manual where the stickers go. So you can use this. You can use the box right here. For one part, let me turn this upside down. On some of these, I had to, you know, look where they're sliding out and get some rough um, and rear end, especially for the taillights, kind of where the taillights go on the red car. There's actually something that doesn't even show up for this sticker right here. That's for uh, your brake cooler on your front brakes. It's on both sides right there. Um, so I had to kind of figure it out on my own. The body lines are kind of there, so you can kind of figure it out. But like I said, there's no manual, so you're, you gotta go through and figure it all out. So if you guys need some help with sticker placement, um, let me see if we get this as clear as possible, I'm gonna give you some very good reference. The, the skull there on the hood, I, I centered. The one in the pictures is a little bit off-centered and I like the look, way it looks on the doors off-centered, but on the hood I want it centered because it reminds me, reminds me of Trans Am. It has a big Firebird logo. 
you got this uh, electric street X. You can see how this um, skull is off center a little bit. And then also they do stickers over stickers a lot. There's a bullseye on top of the sticker. And by the way, I love that skull with the aviator glasses and the stars and the wings. That just like reminds me of military. I always wanted to be a flyboy in the Air Force. So I thought that, that just reminds me of it a lot. Um, this sticker is one sticker that goes on the door. Then this one goes around the rear quarter. But if you look at this, it stops halfway up the quarter panel. And if you look at the artwork on the car, the sticker or the yellow line goes all the way across. So um, that's kind of funny. You can't even really use it for that for 100% orientation. Uh, on the tail, that's just centered. That's your engine bay sticker. And then they use the license plate bandit, which is kind of funny because it's like smoking the bandit, but I guess you could be a bad guy and just name bandit. It's not the most uncommon thing. Uh, the tail lights, again, they didn't show any pictures of the orientation. Let me see if I can get this in close enough here. Okay, uh, if I move it slightly. Okay, so I, see above the, the tail light lens on the left, you can see there's a line there. This body has body lines for two different tail light styles, uh, depending on, you know, what set you get and it's probably a different sticker with another body but if you follow the body lines it helps out a lot like as far as getting your orientation goes but uh yeah that's that's it for that this side does not have a bullseye on the skull only the driver's side does little details um okay what's the red car the cop car oh my god well, first of all, this front piece that I showed, you're going to rip that. If you absolutely do not do it the way I do it, I, you, I'm almost positive you cannot do it with your hands. Maybe if you got good fingernails, you can do it. I don't have fingernails because I chew my nails, but whatever. Now this car. Look at these two itty-bitty lights right here on top of the hood. These things are like microscopic stickers. Pain in the butt. Um... Then this, you're gonna, again, you're gonna rip this. These two things, these two slots are die cut out, but they're not cut out very well. And if you're not careful, you're gonna rip the heck out of this. Um, Cause you got two slots with really thin things. You gotta be really careful. So it's police here. You got the grill on the front. Um, oh, this white sticker right here, that's down. And then you put this police logo on top of that. There's a lot of overlapping stickers in this kit, which you gotta be careful of. Headlights were easy. Um, that's just all, are, are these are kind of tricky too, trying to get the orientation figured out. Um, like I mentioned earlier, these vents do not exist at all in any of the pictures or anything. But if you look really careful, there's a body line and you can tell that it goes there. Uh, the police is all one sticker. The HHO2 is a sticker, so that's easy. Look at this itty bitty sticker right here. That's a pain in the butt too. I got it on fairly easy. It's not that one. One isn't really as bad as it looks. Um, got the lights again. There are. It's really hard for me to get this close up, but you can see the lines for two different style of tail lights, and um, this is the style that it uses. Uh, they've got the police sticker. Law one is their license plate. Kind of boring. Wish I would say something cooler. It'd be funny if it said Smokey. Then, we'd, oh boy, then you'd have some copyright infringement. And then this side is actually the same as the other side. Um, you got a couple of HHO2s on top. Um, I didn't even mention that. You got your hood sticker. So you got another um, police department skill, skill tricks police department logo, which is pretty neat. And then you got some hood vents um, and a police sticker. And man, police cars look like this oh my god i'd be i'd be in the police <laughs> the uh, the rear slats um that reminds me of like a porsche rear window or like a mustang rear window kind of cool but that looks like a mid-mount vent to me like a porsche whereas this one is um i don't know this one looks more like a ferrari to me maybe a lamborghini i don't, I don't know i don't know cars that well but man, was this a pain in the butt, guys. Um, but it does really dress these guys up. I mean, they look 
fantastic with the details. I just wish the freaking guy would just sit in there better. Like, that's about as good as I can get it. Because if he's sitting upright, his head hits the windshield. That's dumb. And then this guy, like I said, he's like looking up at outer space, driving around. You know, what the heck? So that's kind of crazy. Uh, I might play around, try a different Lego set or something and see if I can get it working. But uh, yeah, let's try it out with the new stickers on just for fun. Oh, before we get into that, um, so all the sticker kits, like, it's really weird. Um, the robber just has completely alternative stickers you could use, um, like if it's a shielded car. So, like, here's the orientation. You can see the hood and everything. It's just, like, all diamond plated and got some, um, you know, uh, yellow stripes on it. And these are just the regular ones. So you can you could swap it out if you want. Does that say Ram? It does. I don't think you're going to crash into it. So that's kind of cool. Whereas the police car, the police car has body damage. Uh, like you put on these body damage panels and I I think, you, yeah, you use them all in lieu. But with the police car, though, it has all these bullet holes all over the place. And you can put them on there and just like, you know, riddle the car with it. Because um, it even shows that like in the instructions. Yeah, at least across the hood, you see it's like all shot up on the hood. Um, I didn't want to do that. I, I don't I don't know. I don't want it damaged looking. I like it looking all polished. So, uh, those out of the way and let's take them for a test spin. Oh, crash. Keep going. Drive over the parts. Oh, another impact. I'm trying to drive both of them and play with my phone. Oh, boom. That's it. That looks like a fatal injury right there. Red car is out. Oh, man. All right. Well, this was a fun build, guys. Um, I want to keep playing with this all night. This is so much fun. And uh, I want to add to this track. I gotta, I'm got i going to look it up, and maybe we'll do another video adding to it. All right. Till next time.